Hey guys, and welcome back to this next episode of Rio Bravo. And in this episode, we are gonna finish the harbor, and I'm very excited uh, to see all your comments. I really, really hope you guys are gonna like. Uh, this harbor area as much as I do. I really am quite happy with how it turned out uh, So yeah, at first I'm gonna um, uh, Complete the uh, outside area of the track ride if you can call it that way <laughs> At least this building is uh, Yeah, I really like this building. I, I just call it the saloon because in uh, earlier episodes you guys said yeah you should make a saloon and uh, well I don't know if this is really a saloon uh, but yeah I, I think it suits uh, perfectly with this uh, area I know I've seen some comments of you guys talking about the indoor ride that might be a little bit simple uh, yes it is I know it is but uh, I might uh, get back to it. I, I will get back to it in a few moments when I uh, discuss some of your comments um, But for now, I just wanted to tell you a little bit more as I said in the last video I uh, saw in pictures that this is uh, What is kind of unique on these Western buildings is that the uh, half of the building is like filled with windows and stuff and I think like this is my favorite building that really gives that feeling it's not that messy if i may call it that way like the other buildings it's it suits more and yeah i'm, I'm really really happy how this turned out to be and I, I really just hope you guys do too and um yeah just let me know in the comments of course and uh, uh, yeah i just got some really great ideas for the inside so i might get back to that later on and uh what you also gonna see in this harbor is a toilet because i found out some of the people were uh they needed needed the toilets <laughs> that that much so yeah it made sense to make a toilet even though i could have placed like lots of shops over here in restaurants but um while i'm playing the game um i found out that lots of shops just closed down because they don't have that much customers so i thought yeah well uh i have one i think it's a chief beef on the pedal steamer and then i placed one extra uh Monsieur Fried on the harbor as well and the reason i didn't choose for um the drink shops is because in the inside area uh, that is in the back of this building i placed a lot of drink shops so i could just mix them up and just change some uh, shops later on that could be a thing but for now i just choose to make a muncher of fried and achieve beef on this side and i, I can always change it of course um and and further on in the harbor area you will see as i mentioned before lots of flags i really really like to put in lots of flags in this area i really like how they look and the colors they they give it such a great feeling to the area so uh yeah i hope you guys like that too and of course lots of scenery and decorations like uh the suitcases and that kind of stuff because i think that totally makes sense to place in a harbor in uh in this area so uh yeah let me just know what you think of it of course about the name of the ride because i i asked you guys like if you have any ideas to name the ride please let me know but I totally forgot to mention that I really want to keep in the Back to the Future spirit. I totally forgot to mention myself since we didn't have that many rides the last uh, episode. So I wasn't really uh, thinking of that myself. Um, so yeah, I was looking at Wikipedia and I thought maybe it would be a nice idea to do something with ZZ Top since ZZ Top was in the western movie of Back to the Future I thought yeah that could be nice because this area somehow gives me that feeling at least the inside with all the flags and that kind of stuff I don't know why but it, it, yeah it could be a thing to call 
to to name it like Z top hyperspin. But I was also thinking like I could do something with uh, Michael J. Fox, like the G Fox hyperspin. I I don't know why, but I really feel like I want to uh, put in the name of the hyperspin still. So uh, I, just let me know. I have some more options that is not uh, Back to the Future related, so we might we we could do something as well like that. So. Um, just let me know in the poll I will put up with the other names, but I will first mention them to you guys. Okay, so let's see. I got written down a few comments, of course, since that is so cool <laughs> to read all your comments and I can respond to them. Um, like Patri Patrick Redding. Reading, <laughs> I would name it the El Paso Lasso or something like that. I love the new area of the park. It brought in a lot of color. We're glad to see you got your inspiration back. So thank you, Patrick. And I really like that name, even though it's not uh, Back to the Future related. So that's why I uh, chose that name to be in the poll as well. So the El Paso Lasso could be a very good name. Um, then we got Wolf Tina. Wolf Tenor, Wolf Tenor, I don't, I'm not really sure. Catching up after a busy week, love the Virginia City theme, had the same thought but Burley Hog beat me to it. Lots of inspiration from the Comstock Mines and history of the Northern Nevada. So glad to see you are moving forward and enjoying this again. What about Tumbleweed for the new ride? All the suggestions have been great too. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Uh, tumbleweeds really sound very awesome as well so that will be definitely a name that I put in the poll and I will just let you guys totally decide on this um, right name and then we got a senpai abichan uh, I love how you diverge the modern arch architecture but still in cohesive with your past builds great job and for the name of the ride I would suggest calling it Pecos Bill. It is a fiction country story where Pecos tame a tornado by his lasso. It is still my fave story to be honest. A great job. Love uh, love the new buildings. Thank you, Sinbai. Um, I, I have to be honest in this uh, name because I have never heard of it before. Uh, Pecos Bill. I was trying to look it up on uh, YouTube and it really reminded me of Lucky Luke. I don't know if it, it must be the same name with you guys, but it really looked like that. But I, I just couldn't understand. It was in, I think it was Spanish or something. So I really couldn't uh, listen to it. But I have never heard of it, but it makes, it, it is a cowboy. So yeah, it could be a very good name to name the ride. So I will put this one in the poll as well. So thank you, Senpai. Um, uh, Elvi Hatcher says, um, it is in Dutch, so I have to translate again. <laughs> uh, the outside looks great. Uh, the inside is a little bit simple for you. Uh, you could do something uh, with the ceiling. So, so that really sounds like a great idea. I. I I've seen it myself, of course, and it is a very, very flat ceiling. So do something with with like um, uh, the poles and that kind of stuff. Like I don't know how to to translate it, but it could be a thing to do something more with that. So yeah, I, I might look into that. Thank you so much. And uh, last but not least, Hasselettebur says in the workshop um there is a delorean maybe you could try something like that i know there is a delorean and i know from who it is it's from s dan wolf he's also a very nice plant coaster builder he has a youtube channel as well so you must check him out s dan wolf and he um i i, I remember him uh, looking at my videos and he commented on it like oh now I'm gonna make a DeLorean and like within a day he made an awesome DeLorean <laughs> so yeah it's it's awesome but I'm not really that good with the art pieces uh, not yet at least because I don't really try as well so I don't even know if I do 
but that will be for win for uh, the lady in Wonderland, of course. Um, but uh, I might maybe one time just grab his DeLorean for in a certain area, but I first need to look and, and think what kind of area it would fit in. So I'm not really sure if I will use it, but that could be a thing. And uh, I think Asdan will, would be quite happy if I would do that. And if I don't use it, Asdan will, don't worry. I still love it, you know that. But then it just doesn't fit in the theme I'm going for then. <laughs> so, but if you want to check it out yourself, as Dan Wolf and uh, yeah he's an amazing dude so really should check him out so thank you guys so much for your awesome ideas I'm gonna make a poll with a Z Top Hyperspin, J Fox Hyperspin, The El Paso Lasso, Tumbleweeds and Pickle Spill and let's just see what kind of name will come up out of that poll to name the right for I thought would be very awesome right <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching and um, it was amazing to see you guys uh, being so happy that I'm gonna continue this park and um, yeah I'll keep, keep up the support at the comments I really love reading them all and um, yeah I really just hope to see you in the next episode thank you guys so so much for watching and have a great day bye guys